We are at Home Goods right now and I am so excited. We are going to be checking out their newest items, but in particular, their organizing items. So if you love all things cleaning and organizing tips, tricks, and hacks, then you are in the right place, my friend. So grab your coffee and without further ado, let's head in. Now, of course, prior to walking into the doors of Home Goods, I am distracted by all of the beautiful patio furniture out here. I have been in the market for a new set of tables and chairs, and I am just loving the vintage look of this one. And the bonus here is they're on clearance. This chair is only $49. Absolutely amazing, easy to clean. I have been shopping around for some time now, and at Target, chairs like this can run over $100 just for one chair. So these ones at Home Goods are an excellent deal. Check out this one right here. Originally almost $70, now just $55. Put a nice cushion on this and you are going to be loving your outdoor space and falling in love with it again. This one definitely caught my eye. So cool and fabulous all at the same time. And I cannot believe it for a price point of $150 dollars so cool put some really cozy cushions on there and you have the chicest coolest outdoor patio and these ones right here were also amazing loving the pop of color if you want to add a little color to your home your outdoor space is a great place to do that now i did select one of these chairs that you've seen in this video so at the end i will show you how i'm going to be styling it around my home I always shop the clearance items when I'm at Home Goods or any store for that matter, whether it's Target or Walmart. This big vase and flowers here, just under $40. So many beautiful options here. You could style up a table, bookshelves, your bedroom, an office. And this green color is really speaking to me. And how about this beautiful vase? This is such an amazing deal. Again, just under $40, but a vase like this alone could cost $40, but in it you get the flowers and really brighten up any space in your home. Make it feel more alive. Make it feel more homey. Make it feel a place that you never want to leave. And these beautiful flowers right here, I almost got these for my daughter's room. 20 bucks for those, gorgeous. Now, I need to point something out here. I often leave my coffee cup around when I am shopping. So if you see a random displaced coffee cup throughout this video, don't worry, it's just mine. Let me know in that comments box below if this ever happens to you and you're running around the aisles trying to find that missing cup of coffee. This vase I almost bought. I had it in my cart. I was perusing all the aisles of Home Goods. It is so beautiful. I love the wicker on the bottom. Just an excellent detail, totally in style, and more amazing, beautiful greenery here. And this one, this one did come home with me. I'm going to show you at the end how I style it and a little inspiration that I'm going to use when it comes to this. And the price point on this one is just under $40. This is something you can use pretty much in any home because of the color combinations. Love the fluffiness on there. I just wanted to rub my face on it. I recently partnered up with Timu doing all things home organization and we are going to be doing it again. I ordered these prints and I thought this vase would work perfectly with it. Now, here are these cushions. Again, checking that clearance section. Both of these cushions are just under $25. It would go with any sort of decor. I wanted something a little bit neutral, but also very fluffy and cozy so that when you sat down, you never wanted to leave your patio space. They also had this option right here. But again, price point on this is amazing. And I believe this would also wash up very nicely which is key to any sort of outdoor space. Mm -hmm. 
now that I've gotten all the beautiful distractions out of the way, let's move into some organizing. Yes, my friend, we are going to organize your space like nobody's business. This two-tier sliding basket drawer set made me very happy. And I recently purchased something like this for under my kitchen sink that was more pricey than the one that you will see right here with a price point of $14.99. I did end up taking this one home with me. I'm going to be using it in my bathroom. So at the end of this video, I will show you how I do that. Thumbs up if you have some sort of junk drawer or junk cabinet in your home. I used to. I actually used to have several of them. I found this. I don't own this, but this would be a clever way to organize all of those spaces. It would be much easier to put all of those random items in these compartments. And for just about nine to ten dollars, this ultimate tray seems like a steal of a deal to me. I used to have cupboards and drawers that I did not want to open in my home because they were so atrocious. Now I get excited to open those junk drawers. Whenever I see egg containers, something about it gets me happy jumping up and down. I have way too many egg storage containers. They just look so pretty, fabulous, chic. I love this one here by iDesign because you can easily pull it in and out of your fridge. It really up levels your game when it comes to fridge organization. And at a price point of $10 for what you get, that is an amazing deal. I found recent organizers like this on Amazon and at Aldi, and this is right up there in comparison. This one holds 14 eggs. I truly believe that if your fridge is organized, it makes you want to put healthier things in it and eat healthier. Get that cardboard out of your refrigerator. Now egg organizers, I almost pulled the trigger on this one because it is so cool. And the nice thing about it is you can stack on top. And my friend, a price point of $4.99, to really change the appearance and the feel of your refrigerator. If you bought one of these, you would want to open and close your refrigerator, not just to see what's in it, but so that you can see all your beautifully organized eggs. Here's another fridge organizer that's really gonna up-level your game. You're gonna feel like a pro. Price point on this is just $12.99. If you keep the vent open, that's where you would put all your veggies. And then for all of your berries, you would want to close the vent. Yes, saving you money. Now your produce will last longer and stronger. I found this one here. This is cute. I did end up actually buying this one. So I'm going to show you here at the end of the video as well how I use it. It was a little bit more affordable. So when it came to fridge organization, I did want to stay within my budget, but I love the large capacity of this one so I can keep everything in the same place. Now my kids can also easily access some healthy snacks. This one was just eight bucks or $7.99. I have to contain myself when it comes to organizational items because I do this for clients' homes and my house would be filled with them if I did not put a stop at times. So if you don't have one, I encourage you to get one. Now I'm in the market for a really cute utensil holder. I like this one, just 10 bucks for the quality and durability of it and it would go with my home decor, basically any home decor, but it was a little bit larger than I wanted. But so many beautiful options here. Just a way to up-level your kitchen on a budget, the simple things. I do not like a lot of clutter on my cabinets. I like to keep that space as clear as possible, but I do like easy access to the utensils. I did end up going with this one, a better price point. I don't love the print on it, but what I'm actually gonna do is just turn it around on my cabinet. Gorgeous. Remember the end caps that I mentioned found one right here with some really affordable baskets. Not only are these baskets functional for containing items, giving them their proper home, but they look beautiful. You can just use them for styling. I have several of these around my home. I love the handle detail on this one. Now, when you are looking at clearance items, sometimes you have to make sure it's an actual clearance item. Things get put in different places within the home goods store. So if there's a red tag on it, you are good to go. I bet there's a place in your home that you could use a basket to contain some items. 
One of my specialties when it comes to home organization is the closet area. I'll link a video in the description box below of a recent project that I did, very budget friendly. The price point on this is about $50, but look at all the space. I love that it's vertical, it has a narrow design, it is mesh sort of see-through metal so that you can see the items that are inside, which encourages you to keep things organized. It's fairly sturdy. If you're not putting glassware in here or plates or something like that, I would highly recommend this for a closet area. I found a different color here in just a minute that I will show you that I loved equally well. Again, this is one of those items that I almost put in my cart so that I could use in some upcoming projects that I have, but I didn't. This shoe rack organizer, this is wonderful. If you have a mud room or a closet that needs a little bit of love, I have something that I recently purchased on Amazon, but the price point on this one for $30 is a steal of a deal. It looks beautiful. It does what it needs to. I love the handles so that you can easily pull it in and out of a space if you needed to. Moving into our next fabulous organizers. If you don't have something like this, you're gonna want one. This is great in a closet where you can store blankets, you can store sweaters. If you have an excess amount of shoes or boots, this would be a great place to put them. When you are stacking shoes, I do recommend that you put them vertical. That way you can really access more space. Look at how deep this is and it's lightweight so you can easily transport it from space to space should you need to and the beautiful lid on it is going to help keep that dust out keep everything contained and then just make your space look beautiful price point on this is $24.99 i don't know about you but we tend to accumulate a ton of different throw blankets around my house with four kids so this is a great place to keep them And here's that black organizer that I alluded to earlier. It's not as tall. I think this would be excellent in a pantry so that you can really maximize the vertical space. Put some gorgeous bins inside and you really up leveled your space on a budget. When I saw this shirt organizer, I was a little bit skeptical. I thought to myself, who's gonna open and close this lid every time they wanna grab a shirt? It's nice because you can stack them, but it just seems like a lot of work. But what I didn't realize here is that you can open this clear container from both sides. There's sort of a hinge mechanism on it. You can see here so that all you have to do is just open the lid, pull up whatever shirt you want. This would be particularly useful if you're working in a really small closet space. My other thought is that you could use this for craft supplies. Rather than having to open the lid, you could just pop the lid open. And this is what I was talking about. I don't love these organizers, especially if you need easy access to items, but this flip lid, genius. Okay, one of my number one rules when it comes to organizing a closet is one, refresh, AKA known as declutter. The second is to get matching sleek hangers. And you can get them really affordable online, such as Amazon or Walmart. But I have to say, Home Goods is beating the price per hanger. So, for example, these are 43 cents per hanger, and so many in a pack. This is the Martha Stewart line. And if you're looking to make some changes in your space, hangers is where it's at. These beautiful ones right here are just 39 cents per hanger. That's how I decide on the hanger. I need to make sure that the top can spin. That way, if you put your shirt on, all you have to do is spin the top to get it in your closet, if you know what I mean. I had a viewer recently comment that her velvet hangers would just fall apart super easily. I've never experienced that, and I have velvet hangers in my closet, both of my girls' closets, and I use them in my clients' homes. If you've had any issues, let us know in that comments box below. But look at this whole wall of hangers. I did not need to get down on the floor in those carts with all that stuff. There was an entire row. I was so surprised I had not seen this in my recent home goods. So many beautiful colors. Moving in here, yes, this would be very handy in a cleaning closet or a pantry or in your closet, a step stool that is collapsible. 
So if you're wanting to put things on a higher shelf because you don't touch them as frequently as other things, but you need to access them, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a step stool. Otherwise, you are going to set it and forget it. At least that's what I do. And the space saving qualities of this step stool is like none other. Again, a clearance item here. I got a little bit distracted by the home decor. I am in home goods. After all, this was just $9, so half off. You can really find some hidden gems within and amongst all of those clearance items. I love the vintage look and feel as well. When it comes to my outdoor patio set, I did not want to spend a ton of money. I live in the Midwest, specifically Minnesota, so we really can only sit outside for a couple months out of the year. Okay, maybe three and they get weathered and it just doesn't look good. $70 for this table, no, that was not in my budget, but these ones are absolutely adorable. I love them, they are so cute. So in just a minute, I'm gonna show you some alternative ways to find more affordable, long-standing items. Two things that I'm a sucker for, hand soaps and candles, because they can really elevate a space they look gorgeous but they're functional because we all need to wash our hands and anything fresh linen i am all about that i want to buy like 10 or 20 of all things fresh linen i want my house to smell like fresh laundry every day okay in just a minute i'm going to show you how i use this cleaner i love the sleek fun design and if you hate the smell of vinegar then this is an option for you nothing in this video is sponsored by the way loving eucalyptus oil I like products that are fun, smell amazing, and do what they need to. And according to this right here, you can actually use this on granite in marble. I have a ton of granite in my house, so we are going to give this one a go. This massive bottle here is just $4, and it looks so great. So your cleaning supplies do not need to look dingy and ugly. They can look really cute and chic. It makes you want to clean. At least it does for me. Reed diffusers are also another excellent budget-friendly way to elevate your home and make it smell just delicious and yummy, or maybe fresh and gorgeous. Now, I don't know what gorgeous smells like, but I bet you can get an idea if you smell something, you just think to yourself, this is just a gorgeous smell. And I love that they look so nice displayed in a bathroom on a bookshelf. I also use this in a client's closet. She had a little space that I was able to zhuzh up and put a reed diffuser on. Going back to this green color, something about it just feels, oh, so relaxing and beautiful all at the same time. And I love most of these sand and fog candles. This one is coming home with me. Heck yes. So here's one of my tricks. I like to pair pricier items, although home goods generally is affordable, with thrifted items. I like to combine the old with the new and give it that really lived in look. But I found these end tables in the furniture section, just $10 a piece. And then this right here was a steal of a deal, $3.99. What I'm actually gonna do is paint this and put it outside. Put those feet up. Also, the colors here, I'm just at Walmart. If you're looking for some good paint and spray paint that is affordable, I do recommend this. At my Walmart, they do keep it locked up, so you typically have to find someone to help you get the products that you need. But just look at all of these gorgeous options where you could upcycle anything. And outdoor area rugs, again, here at Walmart, really, really affordable prices. Can you guess which one that I went with? The one that I selected is just under $40. Heading over to Home Depot. If you wanna up-level your outdoor space on a budget, I do recommend Home Depot. Typically I do Walmart, but they didn't have what I wanted this time of year. And be sure to grab some ferns. You cannot kill these. I'm notorious for killing plants and I have yet to kill a fern. This is the space I wanna see if I can transform a little bit better under my husband's sink because look at all this wasted space. 
right here. Let's see what we can do. This looks a thousand percent better and I can easily access these items that I use on an everyday basis because it's higher up. Loving that. It left the sticker mark, which is really annoying. The sticker residue is off, but it, it, it stained the pot. So let's see if we can take care of that. As you can see here, that did not work. So I have a second alternative solution. This is still drying, but unfortunately that stain is not coming out. So I'm gonna have to exchange it. Let me know in that comments box below if you ever experienced this with the home goods stickers. If you have not, in the description box below, I have a free weekly newsletter sign up where I share with you the best tips and tricks when it comes to all things cleaning and organizing. And we are on the road to 1 million subscribers, so if you found this video helpful, please, please, please share it out with your friends and your family via a text message, Facebook, any sort of other means of communication. And to see a really cool closet slash mudroom slash entry way closet transformation click this video on screen now thumbs up subscribe and I will see you my friend in the next one